You might be wondering not only what we're going to cover in this module on governance, but also how what you'll learn in this module about governance relates to everything else you've learned about civic ecology. So if you'll remember, we started out with talking about what civic ecology is and the 10 principles of civic ecology. And then we had several modules on the topic of emergence and how civic ecology practices start. And then what we did was we zoomed in to the inside of civic ecology practices and we talked about the elements or the pieces that piece together make a civic ecology practice. And we used the idea of bricolage or the process by which a handyman takes multiple elements, pieces, and then puts them together and something creative emerges. And so, what were those pieces of civic ecology practices? We learned about learning, creating community, memories, ecosystem services, and health and well-being. But now we're going to change direction. We're actually going to zoom out and look at civic ecology practices from the outside. And we're going to talk about how civic ecology practices interact with other elements of social ecological systems. So there's two modules in this sort of zooming out systems perspective section, and they are resilience and governance. And governance is what we're going to be covering today. So when you think about the work of governing, about tackling social, environmental, and economic issues, likely you're, what comes to mind is formal government, the mayor's office, the state legislature, the uh, Congress or parliament or the executive branch. But actually, there's a number of players in the game or in the work of governing. And these include civil society organizations, non-governmental organizations, businesses, international organizations like the UN, in addition to formal government agencies. So in using the term governance, political scientists recognize that the capacity to get things done does not rest solely on the power of government to command and to use its authority. And civic ecology stewards actually recognize this implicitly through their actions. Through their actions, civic ecology stewards demonstrate that the power to get things done rests in community organizations, nonprofits, business, and government working together. We're going to cover three different concepts or processes in this unit on governance. So the first is polycentric governance. And a fundamental tenet of polycentric governance is that multiple layers of governance, far from being what you might expect, a sign of inefficiency, are actually an effective means of addressing complex problems. So second, we're going to talk about civic environmentalism. Civic environmentalism is a new environmental movement. And like governance, it focuses on collaboration rather than top-down control and adversarial politics. And then last, we're going to talk about civic ecology practices as social ecological innovations or practice innovations. These are small but important sources of new ideas that contribute to larger governance processes as well as to the civic environmental movement.